Well, that did not work. <laughs> I'll be honest, I'm having a tough go of it. Um, I've uploaded my last video three times and the third time everything was right, but somehow the aspect ratio is wrong. So I don't, is my editing software just pranking me? It's been pranking me a lot, like crashing a lot and stuff. I just, I feel like I'm being punked a little bit. Um, so here we go. I'm gonna upload it again for the fourth time and hopefully it works. <laughs> Jeez. Okay, fourth time's a charm, I hope. Bye-bye! Bye-bye! <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna keep working on the tracks today, part one million. Saw time. We're gonna saw these things. We're gonna be sawing. <laughs> you, you, uh, I'm tired. <laughs> this is taking so long and I'm trying really hard not to get discouraged. Um, but it's taking a long time. It's taking a long time. What we found to be working really well is using a crowbar to kind of pry up the track and then the other person takes the saw and kind of saws through it and we just kind of take turns. That's what's working best. I, it, best is a strong word, but it's working. It just takes a long time. We've also used a drill to drill into the top of the thing, um, like a drill bit though. Like you can't actually drill them out. It doesn't work. And that kind of worked, but it took forever. Hopefully you can hear me okay. I, I have no concept of how loud I'm being because I have earplugs in. I'm going to check underneath the hood and see if there's any mice in there because we've had that problem before and I don't want them to eat up any of the cords. Looks good, I think. No mice. I don't know how to close this, man. <laughs> Do I just push it? I'm scared, I don't wanna just push it. Oh, I remember, I remember. Something like, push on, wait. <laughs> uh, I don't think I'm strong enough to close the hood. <laughs> So my dad actually came by to help out, so he's drilling into the tops of the bolts while we're sawing because we only have one sawzall. It's going fast, you know, relatively speaking, and I actually think that my sister is going to be here pretty soon too, so we might have four hands on deck in here, which is great. And I'm sorry if I'm yelling that I have earplugs in and I can't tell, so... What? <laughs> I didn't get this on video, but I also hammered my finger and it hurts really, really bad. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a bruise and like a little welt. and then we're gonna go get some dinner. I know that my face is covered from marks from my goggles and from my mask, but we got three and a half tracks out today. Kenny and I got three together, um, and my dad got one too. We had like actually a pretty good day. I think we could probably actually get this done by next weekend maybe, we'll see. Maybe I shouldn't say that and jinx myself. I know that the audio and the video are garbage right now, but I just wanted to say it's the first day that the sun hasn't been down when we left from working on the bus at our regular time, so that's pretty cool. We are taking out more tracks today, but first things first, we are gonna have to clean up in here a little bit because we didn't feel like it last night. I'm really cold. <laughs> So now that we've been doing this for a while, we actually have a pretty good system going where Kenny, he's really fast with the saw. He kind of goes at it like the screw at like a triangle kind of thing. And then I'll go in with a crowbar and a hammer and get all the plywood that's stuck underneath out because it's really hard to get the saw through all that wood. So you have to kind of pry it all out. So then we just take turns so that neither of us get too tired. So that's the approach and it's working pretty well. Okay, with that first track of the day out, we now have the kitchen, Kenny's office, 
and the bedroom tracks all out. I uh, just hit my elbow really hard on like this metal lip on the bus and I already have a bruise like instantly so that was awesome. For those of you who may be watching and just thinking like with the tracks coming out like how long is this gonna take? How long is this going to take? You know trying to stay positive and now that we have a whole half done, that feels pretty good. So I'm really happy with the progress we made this weekend. It's also making me appreciate it a lot more to finally get to walk on the bus floor without having to step over and around tracks. It feels really good. Um, and I'm just really excited about how good the floor looks and I think we got really lucky and I feel very attached to the bus already. So something else we really need to do actually is start the bus. Ew. <laughs> These masks get condensation and then your breath water drips out onto your hands and it's really gross. Anyways, something else we need to do is start the bus actually because it's been like zero and in the negatives lately and we haven't started the bus in a couple of weeks at least. So this will actually be my first time starting the bus myself, believe it or not. I don't think Kenny or I, either of us have actually done it ourselves. So. I'm kind of nervous in a weird way, but I'm actually really excited about it, um, even though it's just turning a key. Um, I don't know, it's kind of exciting. So I'm going to start the bus and hopefully the bus starts back. It's going to be loud, I'll tell you that right now. Oh, holy shit, I'm so nervous, dude. <laughs> Should I have my foot on the brake? Pull to apply. It must be parked. Fuck, bro, can you be up here in case something goes wrong? I'm so scared. <laughs> I don't even know which way to turn it. Turn it. Which way? I don't know. The only way to turn. I did it! Oh, pull it. Stop it. Uh-oh. Okay, a quick explanation of what's happening. The low coolant alarm was going off. At first I thought it was the air brake because it makes a really annoying sound like that, but it's actually the coolant, so we're gonna go check that out. Okay, so we went out and manually checked it, and it actually is low. Uh, which we don't really know how that happened, but fortunately we bought some extra antifreeze just in case something like this happened, so should be all right. I guess I'm glad we caught it. Uh, really weird. You think we should start it again? Yeah. Okay, I think that one's the air brake sound. Yeah. While the bus is running, I'm gonna just look under and see if I see any leaks. It is so cold, y'all. Oh my god. I didn't see anything. Um, I cut the camera, but I did look under the hood too. Like, well, under on the ground. <laughs> what? We're under the <laughs> under the ground. Under the hood. On the ground. Anyways, I looked down there. I didn't see anything. So <laughs> my arm hurts a lot from when I hit my elbow. But we did a great job today. Honestly, we've got the kitchen, Kenny's office, the bedroom and the bathroom tracks all out. So we only have this part more to go, which is like so exciting. Somebody is gonna take the lift out for us just because that's a task we're not so sure we're able to handle. Okay, so this is the bathroom and then the bedroom over here. And then Kenny's office is here. And then part of the kitchen is gonna be there. So um, we're doing really good. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm really happy. Starting the bus felt way more profound than I thought it was going to. It was. It felt really good. Like, um, I don't know, it was just like the first time I felt really like connected to the bus and it felt very real that I'm gonna be living in it and driving in it. And I just feel really grateful and super fortunate that I am able to do this and that I am getting to do this um, of my own free will, of my choice. So I'm really excited and it just, it felt like a very profound moment. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and everything. Um, I'm really happy to be making videos and I'm really happy with how today went and um, I'm just feeling very grateful. Now you're more likely to have seen the video I'm about to mention than you are to actually be watching this video right now, but the first thing I'd like to share is a very relevant video created by Tiffany Ferguson where she discusses how van life is often viewed as aspirational, whereas being unhoused is looked down upon, among other topics regarding the social implications of van life. 
It's a great privilege for me that bus life is a choice that I am making. I'd like to state, as Tiffany Ferguson does in her video, that it's a good idea for us to get involved in organizations in our communities if we have the ability and the access to do so. Thank you very kindly for watching to the end and for allowing me to share something with you. Maybe you've already seen it before and this is nothing new to you, but I appreciate it either way. That's all for now and I hope you have a wonderful day.